Welcome back to Solenst Customer Video Series. The focus of this video is Discrete Interval Sampler Operation, also referred to as a DIS. Before taking a sample, you need to know your desired sampling depth and static water level in the well. To determine these, you could use a Solenst interface meter, which detects water levels as well as product layers. Check out our website for more information. For operation, you will need the tubing reel with pressure vent valve and the DIS with a sample release device. It is recommended to use the Solens tagline to provide extra support for the DIS. You will also need a high pressure hand pump and a sample bottle. Securely connect the tubing to the DIS. The tubing is first inserted into the compression nut, which is then threaded onto the DIS until finger tight. Use a wrench to tighten the fitting by another quarter turn, just until snug. Next, turn the valve on the tubing reel to pressurize and connect the hand pump to the pressure inlet. Now use the hand pump to pressurize the DIS to the required pressure. This will close the bottom check ball in the DIS. A simple equation will tell you how much pressure to apply. To determine the pressure, Subtract the static water level from the sampling depth, multiply by the constant, and add some pressure for line loss. For example, your sampling depth is 100 feet below grade, and a static water level is at 30 feet. You will need to pressurize the DIS to 40 psi. Once the DIS is pressurized, remove the hand pump from the pressure inlet, Slowly lower the discrete interval sampler down the well. Ensure you haven't left the sample release device in the DIS. It does not go down the well. Because the bottom check ball is closed, water does not enter the DIS as it is lowered to the desired depth. When you reach your sampling depth, turn the valve on the tubing reel to vent. This causes the pressure to be released from the DIS and the bottom check ball to open. Hydrostatic pressure pushes water past the bottom check ball, filling the DIS. The sample water in the DIS forces the top check ball closed, which prevents the sample from entering the tubing. Wait one to three minutes for the DIS to fill. Once filled, switch the valve on the reel back to pressurize. Reconnect the hand pump. And repressurize the discrete interval sampler. As you can see, pressure closes the bottom check ball, which prevents the sample from exiting the DIS ensuring the sample chemistry remains intact upon retrieval. Once repressurized, disconnect the hand pump and bring the discrete interval sampler to surface. Your sample is now ready to be collected. Switch the valve to vent. Insert the sample release device to unseat the bottom check ball and collect the sample. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to contact us with any questions or comments.